User options is a function to add a feature that is not default to Cabinet Parts Pro. There are two types of user options, basic and scripts. With the basic option, you can add a rectangle or a circle to any cabinet part. The scripting option uses VB scripts to add a more advanced option and will allow you to add more than one feature to a cabinet part. I will show how to add both. I will start with the basic option to show how to add a circle to the side of a wall cabinet. We will then move on to showing how to add one of the sample scripts that will notch the upper sides and cabinet back of a wall cabinet. This script would be used to add a hanging rail feature to a wall cabinet. To add a basic feature or user option, start by going to Tools and then Cabinet Settings. We will need to set the option for user options and then under the features for selected cabinet type, click on user options. In the first step, click to add a new feature. Give this feature a name. I'll just call it circle wall side. The cabinet type that this feature will be added to will be a wall cabinet. The layer name is used for pool pathing in part nester. Select what part of this cabinet do you want? Do we want to add it to the left side? Do we want a circle or a rectangle? We'll do a circle. Where is the center of the circle going to be placed? We'll have it three inches up and three, inch and three inches over. And the depth will be 0.375 and we will add a one and a half inch diameter circle. The sketch down below will show the relative placement of our feature. Right now it's still showing a rectangle because we have not saved this feature yet. So clicking save will turn it to a circle and with the start from positive X and start from positive Y means that it is starting from the upper right corner the center of the circle is placed three inches over in the X and three inches down in the Y. If I want to move it to be 10 inches over in the Y direction, I will change the Y location to 10, save the changes, and we can see the Y move down to 10. To have it referenced off of the left side of the part, uncheck the option Start Positive X and save the feature. We can see that it's moved over. Do the same thing. Start positive Y and save. So after it has been saved, click Save Changes. We can now close the user options and the settings. Selecting a wall adds our checkbox for user options then it also displays our user options dialog and it will list all of the user options listed here so circle wall cabinet is the one that we have selected enter in the size of cabinet that you would like click add a cabinet then calculate and nest the parts we now have a circle at the location of that user option Now moving on to the, the scripted version. The scripting versions uh, take a little bit of programming uh, ability. Uh, there are several sample scripts included. The one that we're going to use is uh, to add a hanging rail feature to a wall cabinet. So do the same thing, go to tools, cabinet settings. With the wall cabinet selected, I'm gonna go to user options add new feature and call name that hanging rail the cabinet type is wall I'm going to set to use scripting then open a script file when the dialog opens up we are going to select the option for back notch but while we're here and taking a look uh, doors uh, this is a simple one that will add a raised panel uh, rectangles uh, on a door 
a hinge cup is a script to add a couple uh, 37 to 35 millimeter holes for the hinge. Um, left side notch, notch is just the left side, uh, right side notch. Um, a few simple scripts. Any text editor can open this up. So we are going to use a wall notch script. Select open, save changes, then close our settings. So reselect a wall cabinet, close our op user options and reopen it back up. We will see we now have the hanging rail option. Enter in new and just using that same size cabinet click add then calculate parts and nest. We now see that we have a rectangle placed on the top part of the uh, two sides of the back and also a rectangle that is placed on the back side of both wall cabinets uh, to use a hanging rail option. That is the basics uh, to both the scripting, both options for scripting, the basic option and the scripting option of our user options.